Waz fam. It's Joel with Waz Hero back with another video for you. Uh, don't forget to uh, like, share, subscribe this video. Um, it just helps us get more of this content out to you guys. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, replace the default WP Ultimo pricing table uh, with your own custom design pricing table uh, built in Beaver Builder. Um, so the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you're on your main site of your multi-site and then go to pages and then you want to go ahead and add a new page and I'm going to name this page pricing table but you can name this this page whatever you like um, I have the Astra theme installed uh, it's a great theme uh, just a nice blank slate uh, especially for Beaver Builder. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change some of the settings here just so I have more of like a blank page to work with. Uh, but you don't have to do this. This is just something I, th I think looks better. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click Publish. And then I'm going to launch Beaver Builder. All right. Uh, so then I am going to uh, scroll down to pricing table and I'm going to throw my pricing table in there and I want three levels to my pricing table um, so I'm going to go ahead and add two more boxes there um, I'll go ahead and name this one uh, starter I'll name this one uh, medium and I'll name this one advanced. So these, I'm just setting up the pricing tables for three different plans here. All right. Click save. You'll see that we got three pricing tables here. Now, the, this is just the standard Beaver Builder design. You can go in here, go to style, um, and you can you know change some of the settings here. This is the global settings. If you want to change more settings you can change them per pricing table um, so you can go to you know style on the first pricing table change the you know accent color so I could make this you know first pricing table let's see it's, it's purple color you'll see that 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 changed right there and then I can make the second pricing table a different color And then I'll make the third pricing table another color. All right. And there's more settings that you can modify, but just real quick, I just wanted to show you that you can really, you know, kind of customize these pricing tables with your own look. You can even add uh, custom CSS to the pricing table by just going up here, going to your layout. Uh, CSS and JavaScript, and you can add some custom code there if you want to get in the nitty gritty. Um, you also don't have to do this with Beaver Builder if you want to build it with Bootstrap or build it with uh, you know another builder like Elementor or Divi. You're welcome to do that too. But I just wanted to show you a really just simple stripped down example. So now that I have the pricing table in there, um, and you know you can obviously add features here. So I can go feature one. Add feature, feature two, there we go. And that'll show up in the first box and you do the same thing for the other um, pricing table boxes. So I'm not gonna go through all that right now, but I'll uh, go ahead and save this. And then the next thing I'm gonna do, which is the most important part, is I'm gonna go to my uh, network site and I'm going to go to plans. And I'm actually gonna open a new window here um, and then I'll go back to the page I was on. All right, so now that I have that open again, I'm gonna go back to my other tab, and what I'm gonna do is go to this first plan. I'm gonna go to my network site plans uh, for WP Ultimo, and then I'm gonna uh, go click to copy shareable link. So I'll click that, that'll copy the link to this plan to my, um, uh, 
to my clipboard um, so that I can go back to my pricing table and I can go ahead and go to button and then paste in my URL there and click save. And then I'm going to go back to my pricing table or uh, plan section in WP Ultimo. Go back to plans, click on medium, same thing. Click to copy shareable link. Go back to my Beaver Builder template. Go to the second pricing table and copy the link there. All right, and then I'm going to do the last one. Go back to plans, go premium, copy shareable link, and then go ahead and paste that in this last pricing table. All right. And then once I've done that, click, you know, save and then save the page. All right. And then we got our custom pricing table that will link up to the WP Ultimate plans. So I'll show you this working. I need to log out uh, to be able to access the, the sign-up screen. And then I'll go to that pricing table URL for the page I created. And you'll see I have my pricing tables there. And if I click on this first plan, it'll bring me to the sign-up screen for the first plan. So same thing, if I click on the second plan, it'll bring me to the setup for the second plan. And the third plan. All right, and that's it. So really easy. Like I said, the, the most important thing is uh, that you go to the plans tab or menu item on the network site, go to the plan that you want to hook up your pricing table to and copy it using the click to copy the shareable link button. And then you can put those links into any of your designs. Like I said, whether it's Elementor, Beaver Builder, just custom you know, HTML, CSS, or Bootstrap, or whatever you're using. Um, so that, that basically covers it. Um, just a reminder to you guys, to make sure to like, share, subscribe this channel. Um, that'll help us uh, get more content out to you guys, do more WAS videos, um, so we can uh, grow this, this awesome community. All right, thanks guys, talk soon.